Hello, my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be filming a video that you guys have been requesting for quite a bit. And if you don't already know, I mean, I'm sure you do, they're kind of like the most popular videos on my channel, but I have done in the past quite a few 24 hours eating your fear food videos, which if you don't know what the term fear food is, it's kind of reserved for like, people that have experienced an eating disorder or are currently experiencing an eating disorder or just have disordered eating habits. And a fear food is just a food that you're irrationally, irrationally afraid of. So what I usually do is I usually ask you guys on my Instagram, by the way, if you aren't following me on Instagram, you should follow me on Instagram. I usually ask you guys on my Instagram to send me in your fear foods, but ever since I started doing those videos, you guys have asked me to do a video where I eat my fear foods, so that is what I'm going to be doing for this video. So if you enjoy this video and you want me to do another one, make sure to give it a thumbs up because I can honestly do like a part two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. I've gone through a lot in the past, okay? So, you know, if you do enjoy this video and want to see another one, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. But if you absolutely despise this video, then you can give it a thumbs up because that's okay too. And of course, subscribe for more content by your certified damsel in distress, aka moi. So I want to make a really quick disclaimer at the beginning of this video because I feel like you always get out a disclaimer at the beginning of your videos nowadays. This video could be seen as extremely triggering, but that is not my goal at all. It's not just a video for me to show myself how far I've come from that dark place, but when I was in that dark place and I was going through recovery, something that did help me was seeing someone else just eat food that I was so terrified of, someone just eating that food so casually and not caring. So that's kind of my goal with this video, but I know people might not see it that way. So if this triggers you at all, please exit out of the video, even to give it a dislike if it helps you sleep at night. But I'm not recommending that you eat this way every single day. I'm not saying my diet is perfect. I'm not saying that this is healthy. I'm just, okay. I'm just doing this to help somebody. And if you don't see it that way, then that wasn't my goal and I deeply apologize. So yes, that is the disclaimer out of the way. And let's get started with breakfast. I'm going to be having granola and I got this back to nature peanut butter granola clusters because I love peanut butter granola it's delicious and I'm also going to be having a banana as well because these two right here were major fear foods for me and I'm also going to be having I'm really excited to show you guys this because I'm wanting to show you guys this and it was a huge fear food like specifically this was a huge fear food for me you can already see I've eaten a little bit but we're just gonna ignore it I went to Trader Joe's yesterday and I got this vegan banana bread with walnuts yes I know I ate out of it just ignore that bit and I ate some of that too because there was a walnut there and I was like have to. I specifically was so terrified of banana bread, which is really sad because I feel like the reason I was terrified of banana bread is because it was my favorite. <laughs> banana bread has, I love banana flavored things. Like I always have ever since I was younger. And during my eating disorder, my biggest fears were banana flavored things as well as bananas. Bananas are a huge fear food for a lot of people. It's a pretty popular fear food. Even thinking about that time just makes me so sad because I love bananas so much and I love banana bread. So I'm going to be having some of this granola and a banana. So lots of banana today. So let's put this together. I'm gonna eat my granola out of my heart shaped bowl. I got this at Home Goods, and it's one of my favorite purchases of all time. I was a lot more scared of granola than I was cereal because I feel like cereal serving size was bigger and granola is just a lot more dense, you know what I mean? Mmm, mmm, that is very good. Mm. I could just eat this granola alone. Mm. Wish this banana was a little bit riper, but She's gonna have to do. Now I gotta figure out what milk I'm gonna use. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking I should use my Koya drink instead of using like unsweetened cashew milk because liquid calories were also a pretty big fear food of mine, of course. I know soda is a big fear food for a lot of people, but I really don't like soda at all. So even before I had an eating disorder, I was, I mean, I was a fan of soda up until I was about 14 and I, I don't know what it is. I just don't like soda at all and I don't really like juice either But things like this I love I feel like the chocolate banana is gonna taste really good I'm gonna have a very big plate for not a very big slice of banana bread, but that's okay I'll cut it for y'all because I'm trying to be classy. This banana bread is so good I would highly 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 recommend it Mmm mm. Wow. Mm. That is good. 
So much banana going on here. Mm. Now I gotta sit and eat because I cannot just eat standing up. Okay, they think this is like the best I'm really gonna get. My whole desk is a mess, I'm so sorry. so good i also wanted to just talk about something really really quick because i got a few comments on some of my past 24 hours eating your fear food videos and a few people i don't want not a lot of people it was like a very few amount of comments but you know those few comments always are the ones that stick out the most it was saying that these don't count and that i never really like recovered from my eating disorder because i'm vegan and being vegans like a, just a different eating disorder kind of like as if being vegan is healthier, is what they were saying. And I have never claimed that being vegan is healthier. And I refuse to claim that because it's not. It all depends on how you how you are a vegan, how you are plant-based, what you eat and things like that. Like just because you are plant-based doesn't mean you're healthier than someone who's not plant-based, you know? For me, actually, it was the exact opposite. The idea of going vegan, I had such strong ethical beliefs about going vegan, and that is what pushed me to become vegan but I <laughs> when I did go vegan I did still have a pretty disordered relationship with food I'm not gonna lie it was still pretty bad and I don't know if I would really recommend someone to go vegan because first of all I'm not professional I can't really recommend anything but being vegan is a form of restriction if you think about it and I did have a lot of disordered I didn't have an eating disorder but I had a lot of disordered thoughts around food still when I went vegan but I actually think, for me personally, not speaking for everyone else, for me personally, going vegan was actually a step in my recovery because I actually had been thinking about going vegan for a while before I took the step to veganism because a lot of my friends are vegan and I do love animals, I do. Not saying if you aren't vegan, like you hate animals, I'm not saying that. Like, don't get it twisted, you know? But I was terrified of going vegan because to get an adequate amount of protein in a vegan diet, you do have to accept the fact that a lot of protein sources do have more carbs than animal sources, you know? So compare a piece of chicken to like some beans, for example. And beans have a lot of protein, a really good source of protein, but it's also a lot of carbs as well. Compared to chicken, which is no carbs really, and all protein and very low fat, depending on the kind of chicken cut you get. So going vegan for me was actually a step towards recovery because I was just a protein obsessed girl. Like my biggest source of protein was egg whites because it's just protein. Like there's no fat in egg whites, at least not any fat that really matters. I was terrified of carbs and fats. That was my big thing. Protein was always the thing that I relied on the most. So when I did have an eating disorder, it wasn't any different if it was fried chicken or if it was fried vegetables or fried tofu like I didn't feel better about eating fried vegetables or anything like that because it's still fried like I was afraid of the fact that it was fried in oil not if it was like chicken or something like that so I'm trying to say that going vegan wasn't me like trying to mask the fact that like I haven't recovered because I have and I know I have because I wouldn't have been able to do that and literally feel nothing. <laughs> I think you know you recover from an eating disorder when you don't realize you recover from an eating disorder, you know? Like you really don't think about it until it's kind of brought to your attention and you're like, oh, huh, I did that, all right. But I was actually more scared of eating, like I was a lot more scared of french fries than I was eating fried chicken. I was never scared of meat, I was never scared of cheese because at the very least, meat had protein in it. I was way more scared of eating french fries and pasta and pizza and things like that. I was way more scared. I was never scared of meat because even though meat has like a solid amount of fat, it still had protein. So like it, I used that as my backbone and everything like that. I was more scared to eat a bowl of pasta than to have a steak. I know it's not gonna be the same for everyone, but for me, going vegan was actually a lot scarier in terms of food and eating than it was staying an omnivore. And I'm not saying that everyone's gonna think the same way. I just want to clarify that. I don't know if anyone actually cares. That's ramble number one for this video. So I'll see you guys when I'm having something else. <laughs> Hello, it is snack time. And 
First of all, snacking was not allowed when I had an eating disorder. It was not allowed. I don't know why. It was weird because I could have chips at lunch, like when I was still kind of in recovery, like not fully recovered, but I was getting there. I could have chips at lunch, but the idea of having chips alone terrified me, and I don't know why. And I had very specific chip fears. Again, I really don't have a specific reason. One of them was Doritos. I was terrified of Doritos beyond belief. I've already had Doritos in a few of my Fear Food videos, so I decided not to go with those. And then another one was kettle cooked chips, and I think it was because they're just so much thicker and like they feel a lot greasier, a lot more oily, so they kind of freaked me out. And last but not least, Pringles. I'm not sure why. I really was just scared of everything that I used to love, which is really upsetting. And Pringles was... I could eat like but like three tubes in one sitting back when I was a child. And I think the fact that I could eat that many is what made me scared. I don't know. I'm not making sense, am I? Whatever. Anyway, as a snack, I'm going to be having some Pringles, so... Mmm. Damn. I love Pringles. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm, I feel like I have like half. I'm going to stop there. When I've talked about my eating disorders in the past, I've had every eating disorder under the sun. Any eating disorder you can have, I've had it. So that does include binge eating disorder. And I remember when I was in a really bad cycle, and if I allowed myself to have something like this, I would eat this entire thing. Even if I didn't want to, I would, because I had this mentality where it's like, I'm never gonna be able to eat this again, so I have to eat the entire thing, because I don't know the next time I'm gonna be able to have it. But now, since I know that I can have it tomorrow if I want to, or even later, if I get hungry again, I can have it later. I don't have this overwhelming desire to consume this entire thing, because I'm full right now, I don't need any more. So, I think that's also a win, a thumbs up. That was good. I haven't had Pringles in so long, so freaking long. That was nostalgic and they're not even that great like there's nothing really that special about them but the nostalgia aspect you know at least for me because these i had these all the time as a kid mm. see you at lunch all right so i am back it is time for meal number two time for lunch and i was going between like two different things so i was either gonna have mac and cheese or some instant noodles some instant ramen this is the nuclear noodles that I absolutely love, but I just filmed a mukbang where I ate these, so if you wanna see me eat those, you can watch my mukbang video. So I'm going with mac and cheese. I'm gonna be making my own mac and cheese, which I haven't done in a hot minute, and I'm going to be using this American style cheese. These are sliced cheese. I wish I had shredded American cheese, like shredded, shredder, shredded, shredder. <laughs> Shredded cheddar cheese, <laughs> but I only have shredded mozzarella, so I'm gonna do that with this and then add butter. It's gonna be bomb. So mac and cheese was always a huge fear food of mine. Like I got over my fear of pasta, but well, it's hard to explain. I got over my fear of pasta before I got over my fear of mac and cheese, if that makes sense. Like I could have pasta with marinara sauce and things like that because marinara sauce is usually pretty low in fats because I got over my fear of carbs before I got over my fear of fat, basically. I'm going to be eating mac and cheese because mac and cheese was a huge fear friend of mine. Like creamy stuff was, whew, it always gave me like so much anxiety when I had an eating disorder. But now creamy pasta is like where it's at, you know what I mean? So as for seasonings, Garlic powder, pepper, salt, some chili powder, because why not? Some turmeric, I like me some turmeric. And I want some Cajun seasoning, yes. Also, really random, but I want to show you guys this. These are the Back to Nature Oatmeal Raisin Cookies. I just put them in the container because it's easier packaging. And they're so good, they're like nice and chewy. I don't know why oatmeal raisin gets so much hate. I love oatmeal raisin cookies. Is that just me? I love oatmeal cookies. I love oatmeal, you know? Mmm. By the way, oatmeal was a huge fear food of mine, which is crazy, as you guys know, because I eat oatmeal literally every single day. <laughs> See, y'all gotta get TikTok. Even Neo is here. Dr. Phil just made a TikTok. Y'all gotta get a TikTok if you don't have TikTok yet. <laughs> Ooh. 
Also, y'all, I have been, I've talked about webtoons before. I've been addicted to webtoons lately. I kind of forgot that webtoons existed, but then I got back on the webtoon train and oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I read so many webtoons. They're so good. So I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorites. I really like this one. This one's called Devil Number Four. It's ongoing and I have to read that because that one just came out. And then I like True Beauty, which also just got updated today. This one's so good. I had very low expectations for this one, but it's actually really good. And I'm just saying, I am just saying that these bitches look like, like fan art for BTS. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Hello? I also like freaking romance. The art style is super pretty for this one. Love this one. Like, look at how beautiful that art style is. Oh my gosh, stunning. God, this is not sponsored. I wish it was. Just shout out to all these beautiful writers. Age Matters I read recently, and this one's super good. It's on hiatus right now. I'm so excited for it to come back but Age Matters, very, very good. Love the art style, love the characters. And then last but not least, this is like my new favorite webtoon, to be honest. I finished this all in literally one day. Whoopsies. Y'all weren't gonna tell me? I got too distracted. Showing you guys my webtoons. The water almost boiled over. I'm so sorry, that probably gave someone an anxiety attack. But this is like my new favorite webtoon of all time. It's called a good day to be a dog. I know it sounds odd, but it is the cutest shit I've ever read in my life. And look at how cute the dog is. Oh my gosh. Read it. It's beautiful. And look at how good this boy is. Like, can you see him? Because that's, that's my baby. That's my baby right there. That's my baby. Okay. Ain't nobody gonna touch him. Webtoon recommendations with Diana. But I'm gonna let this cook for a few more minutes and then I'll be back when I'm actually like putting the mac and cheese together. Got a good amount of butter in there. Look how I'm talking as if I know what the heck I'm doing. I really don't know why it's such a big deal. Ooh, do 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 do. Got a good amount of mozzarella in there. All right, I think she's ready. I think it's time to plate. That's the kind of sound you want, heh? Ooh, voila, that looks beautiful. I'm quite excited. All right, so I have my mac and cheese here. It's burning my hand, but it's fine. Kind of matches my shirt, don't you think? I look like the way I'm grabbing it looks so weird, but I can't hold it at the bottom because it's gonna burn my hand. That's fire. Mmm. Hmm. You fixed it yourself? Wow. This is the content I signed up for. See y'all at dinner time. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We are moving on to my last meal of the day. So one of my biggest fear foods, which is a very common thing, and it's not even like really a specific food, it's just food that you don't know the nutritional information for. Like I could be getting the healthiest meal of all time, like back when I had an eating disorder. I could be getting the most healthy, balanced meal of all time, but if I didn't know the nutritional information, I would go into a panic. Like I would get hives at the thought of it. And now I just eat out whenever I want, whether it be twice a week, whether it be twice a month, I don't know, but like I don't care anymore, which I never thought I would get to that point in my life, but look at me go. So I'm going to be getting a pizza and I'm not gonna get cheese actually because here's the crazy thing. I never liked the cheese on pizza and I know you might be thinking what the hell? What is wrong with you? I don't know. I always took the cheese off and I only started eating the cheese on pizza when I was about, I would eat it on Domino's pizza because it's like in, embedded into it on like really nice New York pizza where the cheese can kind of like slip off, you know what I mean? But I really never was like a huge cheese person, not gonna lie. But I really only started to get cheese on my pizza and actually eat it when I was around 18 years old or something. And that was when I had an eating disorder and I would only allow myself to have pizza when I was in front of people because I didn't want them to feel bad and then I would do something to negate that pizza. But then when I had binging disorder, I still would have the cheese on the pizza because I felt like I had to have the cheese on the pizza even though I wasn't, 
Even though I preferred the cheese off the pizza, I felt like I had to have the cheese on the pizza because I was still so obsessed with the idea of like, I don't know when I'm gonna have this again. So I just, cause when you have binging disorder, you really, you really do be eating the things that you really don't want, but you just can't stop eating. It sounds so lame, I know. <laughs> it sounds really lame, but like I'm, happy to say that I'm at a point in my life where I can actually order something that I want and not feel like it's the last time I can ever eat it. This sounds so lame, but like hopefully some of you guys understand where I'm coming from. But I'm going to be getting a pizza, sun-dried tomatoes, caramelized red onions, portobello mushrooms. That's the good dish. Get some spinach on there because I like spinach. Sauce, we're just gonna do a good old house pizza sauce. Good, should be here in about 40 minutes. See you guys then. All right, your girl finally got her pizza, so we ran in some, into some issues, but I got my pizza. Hell yeah. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. Oh, this smells so bomb. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm, that's where it's at. My school also just got shut down. Well, not shut down, but like we're doing online classes now because of the coronavirus. So cheers to that. Mmm. Oh. That was so good. Okay, so I finished my pizza. Twas delicious, obviously. It's time for dessert. Any dessert under the sun, any food that be could be considered a dessert was kind of my fear food. Actually, just eating after dinner like wasn't allowed. That was like a very big food rule that I had when I had an eating disorder. Like once you eat dinner, you're done. So I could really eat anything right now and it'd be considered a fear food. I feel like I have pizza dust on my face. But one of my favorite desserts that I had had for the longest freaking time because it was so high in carbs for like the serving size or whatever. It sounds so pathetic when I say it out loud, wow. I can't believe I like made these thoughts rational. I was like, yeah, these are normal thoughts. No, they're not. Um, but one of my favorite desserts of all time that I, I didn't have for years because I was so scared of it is mochi. I love mochi. I love mochi so much. We're gonna have some mochi. Something else that I'm also going to have are these. I've showed these on the channel before, but I used to be terrified of nuts and terrified of chocolate. So put two and two together and you get dark chocolate almonds from Trader Joe's. These are delicious. Even if these weren't a fear food, I would have them right now because they are that freaking good. Mm. I'm just gonna put my mochi on a paper towel because that's how we do it here. So this is the mochi that I'm going to be having. I found this at Sprouts and this is already my second box because they're so delicious. So I've got two mochi right here and then I also have Dark chocolate almonds that we're just gonna do. I used to go ham on desserts when I was like very restrictive with my diet. I could eat so much dessert, but now I feel like that's enough. Mm. It's chocolate mochi. You're not gonna see much difference in the colors, the squishy outside and the ice cream in the middle. It's so good. Okay, and that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed filming it because I never thought I'd be able to film a video like this and not keep myself up all night thinking about how much weight I probably gained when in reality, I probably didn't gain any weight at all. I never thought I'd be able to like do something like this and just, yeah, like never thought I'd be able to just do something like this. Never thought I'd be able to like do videos the way I do on my channel because I was so consumed by food and by how I look and I just don't, I don't care anymore. And it's weirdly empowering the fact that it's not a big deal. Like I do think it's a big deal, but it's like I said before, I don't think about how I've recovered. I, I kind of just eat you know, like when I want to. And that's such a cool thing to be able to do because ever since I was 16 years old, up until around 20, my whole entire thought process, my whole entire day was surrounded by food. And now I can just be like a normal person. I don't know. Again, a lot of the stuff I said, if you've never had an eating disorder and, um, or if you don't have an eating disorder now, it might be really difficult to understand, but being able to do something like this means a lot to me. And it tells me that all the times that I said I'm never gonna be able to do something like that, 
I proved myself wrong. But yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, but if you absolutely hated it, then of course, please give it a thumbs down because that's okay too. Comment anything else you'd like to see on my channel and subscribe for more content. Bye guys, truly. If you haven't already heard it today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are valid, and I am so happy that you are alive. I am so happy that you decided to stay, and I wish you all good things in the world because you deserve to be happy. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!